Okay, guys, welcome to Four Eyes Academia. Uh, this is podcast episode 30, and I am joined with Ponle- by Ponle. Hi, guys. And Estelle. Hey, everyone. So, yeah, in terms of news, so what's the first bit of news that we've got? I mean, one that came about last week was Harry Potter being delayed till 2022. Mm. Um, which console was that? Harry hmm? Potter. Harry Potter, the Harry Potter game. Yeah, which for which console? Oh, uh, I think it was it's multi platform. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was multi platform. So, um, I don't I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means that the game in its current state isn't good, or if they want to put so much into it that uh, a release this year isn't viable. And then you've also got the case of everyone's looking at cyberpunk and looking ha- looking at how badly that turned out. So <laughs> they're shook. Nobody wants to make that same mistake and promise a date that they can't deliver. Yeah. yeah to which they can't deliver. Cyberpunk has really made it high profile now. They've really brought it to the spotlight. Mm. Yeah. How it just... outrageous has it hasn't it died down a little bit? Maybe I'm no, not it's... in the loop. No, I still I, 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 you know what? The, there is outrage, but I would say um, that that the um, oh, was it Wednesday? Was it Tuesday? Ooh, Wednesday? I've got Tuesday. Too far, I've got some more news on Cyberpunk, actually. Yeah. So on Tuesday, um, I think one of the one of the, the founders, yeah, one of the founders, the founders came founders out and did a project wrecked. Yeah, yeah, he did a he did a kind of um, it was almost like a keynote. But essentially, essentially speaking to the public, explaining what went what went wrong with the Cyberpunk release, um, yeah. what things were done, how they didn't really believe the game was finished, and they made bad calls. They yeah. also discussed what they plan to do moving forward throughout 2021 and beyond. Mm-hmm. And I think because of that, um, it did get quite a good response. Um, even when you look at the like. The like to dislike ratio on the on the YouTube video is it's pretty good. It seems that people yeah. do have a bit of confidence. Um, that they, they'll probably will get it uh, right. Yeah, yeah. I think they'll get it right as well. But yeah, um, yeah, I saw that as well. I did watch it. it the management did said, so "Don't blame the developers. Blame it on the management themselves. It was their mm. call, etc." They said they thought the game was fine. From but I don't know about that. There's a few things with this thing I have an issue because they said they thought the game was fine when they did their testing, QA testing and stuff. But yeah. really, you should have known seen from the get go, especially with the base models, PS, PS4 and Xbox, that it was no way near good because you can see from the get go the bug and glitches. But yeah, Absolutely. they did say that stuff. Yeah, they yeah. said. I think the next gen updates are coming out second half of this year, and also the, I've also actually seen a new another article today. Funny enough, was it today or yesterday? Um, which can is someone news actually? Mm. Um, the devs didn't think the game should ship in. Um, it, they thought the game should ship in 2022. Mm. Oh, that's a big. That's still. Yeah, a massive they the game was not ready. Timeline for, for yeah. a game that came yeah, out in 2020. To really have shipped in 2022, it says quite a bit, man. Yeah, it's a mad one. It yeah, says quite it's, a lot. Yeah, and so the fact that you said that, how the management was saying that they thought that the game was fine to release in 2020, just shows. I think to me, I just kind of get the impression that their standards weren't too high to accept something that would be fine. Mm. You know, would you not want something to be excellent? <laughs> you know, top notch, no issues. So I feel like they were just willing to say, well, it's fine. It's okay how it is. Let's just put it out there and get some money so yeah i think it's it, it very much shows that they their standards they were aware that it was just fine and not the best that it could have been exactly yeah it's for cg pro- yeah it was just bad overall as we said for cg project because they've they, them guys have been held to such a high standard you know being on the mm. right side of the game has been so consumer friendly and yeah it's like i said they got a lot to build back up anyway for that but yeah Mm. We'll see. It's gonna. I think the game will come out good when they finally do all the patches and stuff and actually <laughs> get it up and run. When they finally do everything, I'll start playing the game again. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Skin, I'm not gonna. Um, ret- I can't return it now anyway. But yeah, I'm still waiting. <laughs> yeah. There's also news. been. Yeah, I mean, there's also been news. So ex- for the one thing I did see on the internet uh, recently, um, I think there was a couple sources, but essentially. Um, GTA 6, which we have known has been in development for quite some time, 
um, apparently there's some new information that's apparently leaked and allegedly we're finally going to get a female protagonist okay. as the main character um, still no idea where it's going to be um, but I think it's quite an interesting change to, to have a female lead character because to my knowledge you've never been able to use a female character in a GTA game yeah no not in any yeah I don't think you have actually in a no. GTA game no. I wouldn't count GTA online because that's just making your own character anyway but yeah. for story yeah wise yeah GTA no you haven't mm. I can't think of any yeah so it would be interesting. Yeah, it's, be interesting. It's about time, to be fair, as well. It's about, it's about time as well. Where, should... where would you like the location for the GTA 6 to be in? I don't know. Maybe they should revisit Spice revisit City. I don't know. Nah. Nah, nah. Need... I don't know. I, need... like I think they need a London. new year. Yeah. Oh, London. London. London's a show, actually. I'd like to see them do London, actually. Do their own style of London. I'd like to see that as well. Mm. Man, this game somewhere is... in Africa? I think that could be fun. Oh, mm. mm-hmm. That's a sh- Lagos. You know, do, you know, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is with with Africa? I can see them because you'd have to really, really understand Africa. the culture. A lot of research. Yeah. Oh, but I think it could be good, though. Yeah, it, 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 it could. could it could be. It definitely could be. I don't think they will, and that's mostly due to you know misconceptions about Africa. And even mm. though Rockstar may be aware, of, like, look, there's plenty of amazing places in Africa mm-hmm. there's a large infrastructure roads trains landmarks the majority of the people that are going to go to buy the game won't know that yeah that's and true I could see in Cape Town you know yeah see Ooh, I could see yeah. I could see I could yeah, definitely see somewhere in South Africa I could definitely see it happening will it happen very unlikely I think it's yeah. going to be somewhere, somewhere a bit more western. So it'd be, I think it'd either be the. It's, it's most likely going to be the US, but if it wasn't going to be the US, I think it would probably be um, the United States. I'm oh, sorry, it'll be um, United Kingdom. If something with the Star Wars license. Yeah, I mean EA and EB have had their fair share of problems, um, yeah. you know, with pay to win and. <laughs> loot yeah. boxes and all sorts but um i think maybe in the hands of someone else it'll be interesting to see what star wars would be like yeah but who knows, who knows we'll, see, we'll, we'll see when these games come out because right now you can never predict yeah, what a game exactly. would be like at launch day so on to the main topic and quick question subbed versus dubbed Okay, sub versus dubbed. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm usually. To be fair, I'm, I'm, I used to be always just sub, 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 but now more these days, I feel like maybe sometimes I may need dubbed. Because in case I'm not looking at the screen, I need to literally hear, you know, and maybe hear his. <laughs> and maybe I can mm. understand. Because mm. like, sub requires a lot more concentration. You have to see, this, uh, read the subtitles, all of that. And I'm just like, sometimes I just maybe want dubbed to, you know, just ease. Don't need to have as much concentration. Right, that and does that is that hold the same for anime and all other mediums of media? So is that yeah, same with all other mediums of media for me. I'm lazy. I can't mm. lie. <laughs> I, I like sometimes having not as much concentrate. And concentrate. another another question I'll ask you: Are you someone who has subtitles even when the characters are speaking English? Sometimes. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Not yeah. all the times. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes I'm really conflicted. Mm-hmm. I'm really conflicted when I'm watching something and people are speaking in English and I'm still reading subtitles. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, fair enough, sometimes if you're in a loud place or whatever, it can help kind of guide the conversation. Sometimes with some people's accents and they might mu- they might mutter certain words. It means that you can't hear what they're saying clearly and subtitles can help clarify that but for the most part it's like you speak the same language so why am i reading this i know what they're saying but who knows how about you Estelle? i think that also comes in handy for people who are who can't hear so yeah 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 they might so, uh, yeah exactly so i think it's a different story altogether if you're hard yeah. but 
if you aren't and your eyesight's fine it's like and, why <laughs> yeah it's a it's a bit like why but i i do it sometimes so it's, it's weird yeah i prefer subs uh yeah. i know it can be a lot of work and it is annoying because sometimes you know when you're getting ready night out obviously you have, night outs haven't been non-existent mm. for a year but you know mm. night out you, you want to catch up on a bit of narcos but you can't because you've mm. got to read the english subtitles because yeah, exactly. spanish it's annoying but um it while it can be a little bit of extra work to have to follow and read in, mm. in english i feel like it's really it's a lot more immersive and mm. really i feel like you get more out of it because you can kind of just, just kind of just see the kind of the passion and it's the, the, the delivery of 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 the script in this original mm. language that's meant to be and i found that once sometimes i do give dubbed versions a quick listen and mm. within like five minutes i'm just like i can't do this and i just go mm. back to subs because <laughs> i I'd, I'd rather listen to it in its in it's in its um original audio language do you guys believe that voice actors and normal actors deserve the same recognition or would you say they, they deserve the same respect for their ability? So when you say normal actors, just to clarify. Normal actors, yeah. So, non, so we're talking about... Live action. Yeah. No, like live TV. action TV shows, movies. Mm. So would you say that both are just as talented as each other? Do you think... I'd probably... Um, I would. I'd probably hmm. say... Because it depends. I think voice actors, you have to, it's still happened to do, even though you don't really show, I think, with more actors, you, have to, you see facial expressions, etc., with the the body language and stuff, with when they enter mm. the role. Voice acting, you do have to do, still do a lot of different voices, etc. Really sell the role of like like the animated character you are as well. Mm. You can you can do the voice acting for them, but you can sound really bland, but you know, you have to really put that, you still have to put a lot of big performance into that, in that performance of doing that character. I'm just trying to think mm. someone here like for example regina queen she's quite she's a brilliant voice actor regina king she did the, the voices Ducks, of, she? Yeah, yeah she did yeah here you and riley riley and she's done a few other uh, um i think she's done a few other voice like um voice acting roles for other stuff but yeah i'm, I'm thinking mainly the boondocks she, she's done an amazing job there um mm. but i think they should they deserve as much as much respect anyway my thing with voice actors is fair enough they don't need to pull facial expressions off or mm-hmm. carry out I'm sure they do though in the studio I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean they do. don't what I'd say is that they don't have to so it's not it's not something that's required when you're voice acting you don't have oh, to oh sorry I was going to say yeah. is what I found out you don't and what's his name his name is Andy Circus um who was Claw in Black Panther but he's also the he was the voice of um I think he was the voice of um Gollum you know in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was. He was Gollum. He was Gollum. Yeah, he was Gollum in Lord of the Rings. He was the voice. So his character. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. character yeah. model. His um, his his character, the character model of Gollum was based off of him, to begin with. So okay. it was. So he was. It was. Yeah, he, that's that was more he, than a voice acting role. That was more. And he was Caesar as well. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, he, but he was Caesar as well. He, he was Caesar in the uh, um, the Planet of the Apes. Um, yeah reboot. so he did cgi so for that so it wasn't yeah, yeah so it wasn't just it was i mean it counts definitely but what for in his, yeah, I've, I've, his situation it was more um they did some face capturing and that's why you can see Gollum has a resemblance okay. to him. yeah it's basically you, him I get, you, I get what you mean i'm just trying to think he was yeah so he was as he said he was season he was also supreme leader snoke in the star wars sequels you know, the Force Week Awakens and the Last Jedi, the Snoke. But yeah, yeah so he's an amazing voice actor. Even you got, even you've got um, Mark um, Hamill as well. He's an amazing voice actor. Actually. No, but you see, I think I think the thing with him is that because he's an actor, because these guys, these, these guys are actors. Most of these guys are actors. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. I think a lot of them. I think that's the thing as well. I don't think that you have really. Do you have, I'm trying to think of a lot of people that are just voice acting. I can't really think of much, but I think a lot of them are actors and voice actors. Yeah. yeah. I think there must be some form of, I, 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 I don't know if it's true or there must be some kind of voice actor award somewhere where those people 
are recognized for their work. Yeah. I don't think it's something that we would hear of, but um, as you guys both said, that they really do make that difference in the portrayal of the characters that they're that they're playing and in their roles. Mm. Uh, I remember watching the Disney movie Soul over Christmas, mm. and I can't remember the main character's name, but I was just like, Oh, wasn't that um, who was the was that... it was Jamie Foxx? Jamie Foxx, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but he's talented anyway. But I was just like, Oh wow, yeah. like. Mm. That, guy, that guy's too talented. Show. Scary. <laughs> too talented, man. Like mm. he, he can do all these accents and things. Um, just goes back to the point you guys raised earlier about how a lot of the movies we watch, a lot of the movies we watch, sorry, um, are kind of played by 